I'm over here in the beautiful town of Sedona. I've got a client over here, Zach, and wants me to look at his entertainment area. This is going to be kind of a heartbeat of his new office. So um, I need to design a console for all of his equipment. And he also kind of likes surprises and hidden compartments, which I like as well. So I'm going to uh, design something really unique for him and I'm going to add a few surprises in along the way. So let's see what we can come up with. Is anybody here? Hey, Jim, I'm up here. Hey, Zach. Hey, how are you? So you need an entertainment center built for this spot. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a family play space. I have another room over here that's the office space. And during the day when the kids aren't around here, I can use all of this and uh, not, not be in the main house. It's quiet, I get quite a lot of work. So that's cool, so it's, it's entertainment and office. All right, well what do you got for me? We got this kind of awkward corner that needs something special from you. Cool. So there's three things that we gotta have. Okay. We gotta have um, a cool way to show off the, the AV equipment, like open. So you wanna see it. Yeah, I wanna see it and I wanna have enough room for everything. Um, and I want to be able to have like some sort of surface where you can, you know, have discs and set down things, you okay. know, and maybe even a way to like charge tablets, I don't know, something. Cool. Maybe. Right. And then the last thing is I want to not see all the ugly wires and stuff that's coming out of the wall. Which is a ton. Yeah, which a is ton a of wires there. There's a bunch of wires, yeah. So we got to hide all that, but you kind of want to open, it kind of feels like you want to yeah. open shelving type of thing. And there's one more thing. There's okay, <laughs> okay. This is for the bonus. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, got it. Some cool compartment that is a secret. And he also kind of likes surprises. So you want some hidden storage. And nobody can find them like secret. You secret, and that's right. secret storage with the secret lock. That's right. So when once I show you how to operate the secret storage, I'm going to be expendable because I'll be the only other person that knows. That's right. I'm going to make I'm going to make some hidden stories that is is you would never think you could have room for it there. All right, how's that sound? Okay, all right, that sounds good. All right, okay. Well, that sounds like a challenge. Thanks I love challenges. Yeah, I'll yeah. get something drawn up for you. Get your approval. We'll get rolling on it. All right, awesome. I've been designing and designing on this project. Um, this particular client is really challenging. This has been a hard project to answer all the questions and the needs, but I've gotten there, I figured it out. It's neat design because it kind of has this open space and floating set of drawers right here in the middle. And the reason I can get away with that design is because it's a steel superstructure. So I'm building the whole framework out of steel and then I'm adding the wood details. So this set of drawers can float here in the middle and have all this usable space. It just turned out real great. I love the design. And then I have underneath here a false back that hides all of the electrical behind the unit. So what we end up with is a unit that fits the space perfectly. And plus you needed a work surface, plus you needed some cubbies, cubbies above. So, and we got a beautiful piece of furniture. I've been struggling a lot lately with this piece. I've been doing furniture for 25 years. I've designed and built thousands of pieces. I got this piece going. I got all the finish on it. I, I decided to go with an oak to fit the theme of the space that it's going in. And when I got all the wood finished and all the metal finished and I put it all together, it looked terrible. Yeah, it looked terrible. The wood looked great and the metal looked great, but when you put them all together, it just didn't look right. So I thought, you know what? Do I have to throw away the oak that I'm using and go with a different species? Honestly, this is one of those things where you turn a tragedy into a triumph. And I created a new finish and a new look that I am thrilled with. And this wouldn't have happened if I hadn't fallen straight on my face. Check this out. You see that? That was the original oak and I'm leaving it on the inside because it's beautiful, it's fabulous. So what I did was I tinted a lacquer with some black. So this is a black tint. And what it does is it creates this look where you still keep the grain, you keep the brown coming through, but look how it turns that metal. I start to worry if I start to think too much. I think of all I've done, then I think's not much. My will is good and my heart is a strong one. I know the difference in scotch and a hand, yeah. Let me hear you. Scotch and a hand, well, They all thought that you'd have done yourself in. There's a song to break the heart of a siren. Scotch and a hand, Well, what do you think? 
Oh man, it's amazing. <laughs> like look at this, it solved all the problems, no clutter, everything looks beautiful and it just made this whole corner come alive. It's awesome, Tim. I'm glad you like it. I think it turned out great too. You kind of got this floating box of drawers right in the middle of the whole unit. Yeah, a different style. Yeah, absolutely. And it works well with the rest of the wood here we got. And now I got tons of little space. Awesome. Great. Glad you like it. Yeah. Throw it. All right, man. Yeah. Well, enjoy. I sure will. All right. We're going to have a blast with it. Play Stephen Ashbrook. I start to worry if I start to think too much I think of all I've done and then I think's not much My wind is good and my heart is a strong one I know the difference in scotch and a hand gun Let me hear you Scotch and a hand gun well, They all thought that you'd have done yourself in There's a song to break the heart of a siren Shannon gun to his own eye. 